What are you curious about? Have you ever been in a relationship where the one or two of you just wanted to go with the flow? How has that ever worked out for you? I know these type of relationships never work out for me. Once I was seeing the sky and everything was about going with the flow. He didn't want to define the relationship, nor was his intentions clear with me. I felt that this guy wasn't being serious with me. It came to the point that I had to ask myself, am I happy with this situation? Is this where I want to be? You see, I'm very precise about the things that I want. If I desire a specific brand of chips, I won't settle for any other brand of chips. <laughs> I'll go to every supermarket until I find a similar or a superior version. In the year 2006, I was living in Aruba, studying to earn my Associates of Science degree in hotel and restaurant management. I was never the most popular girl in school. Nevertheless, people on the street would often come up to me and say, hey, you should be a model, or you should take part in a beauty pageant. One day, I decided to go to a casting together with a friend of mine. I figured, I had nothing to lose, and I was quite curious about what it was to be a model. And this is how it all started for me. By the year 2010, by the year 2009, I was one of Aruba's top models. Billboard, magazines, you name it. As a result, I was named Model of the Year. After graduating, I decided to take, part, take a break from school. I wanted to work, and I also thought it would be a good idea to take part in a Miss Aruba pageant. Again, I figured it's a win-win situation. Or I'll win, or I'll continue with my studies. In December, 4th, December 4, 2010, I took part in a Miss Aruba pageant. I won. <laughs> thank you. And I, thanks. and I was crowned Miss Aruba 2010, 2011, earning me the right to represent Aruba at the Miss Universe pageant in Brazil and the Miss World pageant in the UK. Unfortunately, I did not win at neither of these pageants. But it was okay. Do you know why? This is because I had a plan. I had a vision of where I wanted to go. At this point, I felt that my mom was already so proud of me. She would have been happy with whatever I had decided to do. However, my older sister that lives in the UK, she will always inspire me to go further in life. Whenever I got too comfortable with where I was, I was feeling a little bit uninspired. And here I am now. Yep. <laughs> Despite having people said to me, oh, Jelaine, you don't need to study anymore. You're a miss. You'll probably end up getting married, start a family. This is when I quickly realized that people's expectations of me was far little than what I had set in mind for myself. I moved to Leerwarden in January 2012, leaving everything I knew behind.
and everyone, my friends, my family. I had my own car. I had a good job at the local bank, and I was well known in Aruba. Yet, I wanted more from life. While those around me were expecting me to settle, I didn't know if I would like it here in Leerwarden. How all accepting my new environment would be of me. The one thing I knew is that I was excited to start my studies, and also to make new experiences. Being a model, I've always had to deal with some form of misconception. Society seems to have this idea of who I should be, and they also expect little of me. Even here, in my first year as an IBMS student, a student, I felt that those who knew that I was a miss had some form of judgment about me. But I never let that bother me. I stayed focused on what I came here to do, and that's all I cared about. Now, as a third-year IBMS student, I feel that uh, those who have gotten to know me a lot better, they have seen that I'm serious about my studies and about my future. You see, the experiences that I've gained from my modeling and Miss Years has taught me a lot about people, business, and politics. This continues to help me in life as an aspiring businesswoman. The message I want to leave with you today is: Don't be so quick to settle. And most of all, don't let people label you or put you in a category. Be who you want to be, and believe in yourself. What you should remember is that it's not always going to be clear at the moment where you want to go in life. But that's okay. You will figure it out as you go along. I promise you, it happened to me. As long as you have a vision, this is the key to it all. With every decision you're making now, you're actually determining your future. So you need to set goals for your life. If you don't have a plan of where you want to be, you're going to end up anywhere, just going with the flow of life. You can either take control of your life, or you can be a drifter. The choice is yours, ladies and gentlemen. I made my decision years ago. What will be yours? I want every one of you to start singing these songs to yourself this、um, in the mornings. I want you to sing this song to life. Get in a rhythm while you sing it as well. Give me, 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 give me,